It was a weekend in August 1994, and we were going to all meet at a place called Sleepy Hollow Lake. And I'm down on the ground floor, and I'm running a barbecue. It, it was a nice, beautiful day when I started, and and my brother-in-law came out to give me a break, so I went to the payphone to call my mom uh, just to check on her, and the, the payphone is connected to the building. And as I went out and I dialed the number and I let it ring seven or eight times and she didn't pick up, so I went to hang up. And, uh, and as I got the phone about a foot away from my face, I heard this loud crack and this big flash came out of the phone and hit me in the face. And uh, you'd been struck by you'd been struck by lightning or lightning had struck the building and uh, did come through and hit you. Yeah, the lightning had hit the building and exited through the phone and uh, I just happened to be in the way. And so it, it hit me in the face and just sent me flying backwards. And as I was going backwards and something happened and suddenly I felt myself moving forwards. And I remembered standing there and was just confused, uh, absolutely confused because I'd, I had seen the lightning, I, I knew that I'd been hit, and I knew I'd been sent flying backwards, but here I was standing there and I'm looking at the phone and the phone is just dangling. And, and I, I'm still not making any sense out of it. And then just at that moment, I see my mother-in-law who's at the top of the stairs and I'm at the bottom and she's screaming and she's running down the stairs toward me and anytime your mother-in-law is screaming and running toward you, you have to worry a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I had no idea what was going on and as I noticed that as she got down close to me, she was looking at me like I wasn't there. At that moment, the only thought that came to me was, oh sh I'm dead. And that was the first realization that I had that something bad had happened. So I'm, I'm standing here looking at this body that's 10 feet away and my mother-in-law's running over toward it and she's screaming. And at that point, I'm calling out to them and I can hear what they're saying. I can see them, but they can't hear or see me. And suddenly I have this realization that, oh my God, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking and having thoughts just like I normally would. And, and the realization came that whoever I am, I always am. And whatever's on the floor is nothing more than a shell. As I'm walking up the stairs, I notice that my legs are starting to dissolve. And at that point, I was like, okay. Yeah, maybe this isn't funny anymore. And by the time I got to the top of the stairs, I had lost all form. And I remember looking down at myself thinking, you know, where did I go? Um, but it was just this hazy energy ball. You, you're, you're having an out-of-body experience. I mean, obviously at that point is what, what, you, were, what, yeah. you, were, what you experienced. I was having a full out-of-body experience. Um, I was completely separated and I was going someplace else. And when I got out of the building, that's when things really started to get interesting. I was, I felt like I was, when I got out, I was suddenly immersed in this bluish white light. And in that white light was truly the most amazing feeling. If you could imagine absolute love and peace and it was it was a force that there was absolutely nothing else in it and and I felt like I was in a crystal clear stream and I could see the rays of light passing through it and it had a sparkly appearance but I as I was thinking about this and looking at it I could actually see the lines of the energy which to me was amazing and because I you know, because of my science background, I thought, this is something I could measure. It's that strong. And what I was able to see was that this energy made up everything that exists. 
and flowed through it. And I thought that whatever God is, this is it. And I was absolutely taken by how great it felt and I thought this is the best thing that could ever happen to somebody. And as I was going someplace and I could, could feel the sensation of moving, I was going someplace. It had both speed and direction. And right about the time that I, I thought this is the greatest thing that could ever happen, then suddenly it's like somebody snapped their fingers. I was back in the body and um, my little trip was over and it was not well received.